Welcome to the Outlook 2016 module on using flags and categories to manage your mail. Now there's two ways that you can access flags and categories. The first way is to actually click on an existing email. So for example, we are going to choose our Apple Music email, right click it, you can choose to categorize it or you can choose to flag it. The other way of doing it is on the Home tab, going under the Tags group, you will see there's an Assign Policy, Categorize and Follow Up option. Now let's have a look at the two different categories that we're talking about. The one is Follow Up, which is what we call a flag. What this will basically do is you can flag the email for a specific task to be done whether it be today, tomorrow, this week, next week, no due date, or a customized date. You can also, once you have completed the action on that email, choose to mark it as complete. If you flag a specific mail in your email, you will then know, notice it automatically gets moved to your task list. So if we go to our email and we flag a particular email, we'll go to Apple Music, right click, and say we need to follow up on this today. It will then create a little red flag in our mail which allows us to see that this is now an important email. And if we go down over here, we've got tasks. You'll notice that we've got no due dates, but for today, we've got our Apple Music mail right over there that needs to be completed. That is basically the follow up feature. Once you have completed or you would like to clear your flag, you go to follow up, clear flag, and it'll automatically clear the flag for you. That is basically to prioritize what needs to be done and to be able to see what is urgent and needs to be worked on or attended to now. The other way of handling your email to make it a little bit more efficient and productive for yourself is to categorize your mail. What's really great about categorizing your mail is that you can choose to file certain things in certain sections in your inbox without actually putting them into folders as you realize there's still some work to be done on them. To go to your categories, you'll notice that there's a whole lot of categories in place. If you click on all categories, we will then go and choose a particular category. This has selected all these mails, so I'm not going to select them all. I'm going to select one and go to all categories. And I'm going to create a new category called subscriptions, since this is my Apple Music subscription. I'm going to change the color to blue and I'm going to say OK and click OK. You will notice now that this particular mail has now got a blue icon. If I go to another one, let's say this over here is a personal email, categorize this, go to all categories. It's saved my subscriptions, but I'm going to create a new one. Let's call this personal. And my personal email, I'm going to make red click OK and it'll categorize it for me. What's so nice about this is in your filter section at the top of your inbox where you choose to arrange your emails, you can also choose to arrange it by categories. What this does, if we just right click it and we collapse all of our categories, is it allows you to see all the uncategorized mails. So you can just collapse all of these your personal and your subscriptions. And once you've set up all the categories, it makes your working environment in your inbox a lot easier to manage because you can also create categories such as to do, urgent, clients, projects, outstanding, etc., etc.